Hello, my name is Linda Leaf, and I'm an international umpire and a national referee. And I am going to talk to you today about some table tennis rules, but we're going to start first with the service rules, which are very important and can cause some confusion. So let's start with a basic legal serve. What is a legal serve? Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to have Gryffindor, hi Gryffindor, is going to demonstrate to us a legal table tennis serve and then we'll talk about it. All right, thank you very much Gryffindor. That was a legal serve. So what made it legal? Okay, there are several elements and you have to include all these elements in your serve or it's not legal. First off, when I say legal, I mean that when you're playing in a USATT sanctioned tournament or even a recreational tournament, you gotta follow the rules, okay? If you do not make your serve legal or do it correctly, you can lose the point. You lose the point. Your opponent would get the point. Now, sometimes an umpire, if you have an umpire at your table, may give you a warning if your serve is marginal, all right, and, tell, and say, let, and tell you what you did wrong, like toss it high or whatever, and give you a chance to serve over again. But there is no requirement that you are entitled to a warning. You can be faulted right away. So the umpire would go, if, if Gryffindor had served uh, incorrectly or illegally, the umpire would have gone fault and awarded the point to Sliverin. All right, we don't want that. Okay, so now, what are the elements of a legal serve? You have to show the ball I can just see that, in the palm of your hand. We call this presentation. You can't just come up la-di-da, la-di-da, and serve like that. Okay, in the palm of your hand, not your fingertips. You have to toss the ball up at least six inches from the palm of your hand. And six inches, to give you kind of a ballpark idea, is roughly the height of the table tennis net. And then, okay, you hit the ball after you toss it up at least six inches. Now, the ball cannot be over the table, the end line. This is the end line, okay? It has to be behind the end line. And imagine this end line is extended on both sides of the table. So you can't come over here and do this either. It's not behind the end line. This is the end line, okay? And your opponent has to see the ball at all times. And that can cause a lot of confusion, okay? You cannot hide the ball. Your opponent has to see it at all times. You can't, when you toss the ball up, get your hand that you use to toss it out of the way. If you keep it here, the ball drops and then you hit it, that's an illegal serve because your opponent did not see the ball at all times because your hand, your arm or your hand is between the ball and the net or one of the net posts. All right, so let's see how, why don't we switch sides here, Sliverine. Let's see what he does on his serve. Or is it only Gryffindor? All right, let's see. Oh, 
Well, no, that wasn't good either. I mean, this liverine, oh my God. Okay, what they did is, or what she did is, she had her hand over the table. Remember, it has to be behind the end line. The ball was over the table. So that made it illegal. All right, so just work on a legal serve. Six inch toss, no hiding the ball. And now a couple other things relative to service and then we're done with the service rules. If you're in a tournament, okay, a lot of times in many, many tournaments, you do not have an umpire at your table. There's just not enough umpires. So you're calling your own score and, and points. So first off, remember when you serve, say the score out loud, your score first. If you are ahead 4-3, say 4-3. If you are behind 2-4, say 2-4. You will lose track of the score otherwise. It will help you keep track of the score and whose turn it is to serve. That's, so that's a good practice to follow. It's not a rule, but it's a very, very good practice to follow. Make it part of the rhythm of the game. Okay. And the other thing is that if you're in a game and you serve and your opponent thinks that your serve was not legal, they can't stop play and say let and say your serve was not legal. Play, you have to play the point. Even if you think the serve was not good or not legal, play the point and then you can stop play, go to the control desk and uh, ask for an umpire. All right, I think that's it for the service rules. It's a very important but tricky part of the game. Thank you.